Hello, and welcome back to Conquering Finale. My name is Jason Lafredo, and we are continuing on with Finale 27, The Smewful Shuffle. Welcome to the Great Smewful Divide. Now, what am I talking about? Well, in Finale 27, there are now basically two systems for using fonts in Finale. There's the Smewful system and the non-Smewful system. Finale 27 will definitely use both of them. So this means that forwards compatibility is always possible. You can open any older file in Finale 27. It'll just use the non-Smewful uh, version of the fonts, which is totally fine. Internally, though, the Smewful files and the non-Smewful files are basically using different support files to uh, basically put the notation elements in their proper place. The old non-Smewful fonts uh, use what's called a font annotation file, and I'm just going to drag over my uh, little browser here to show you where these live. It's in the user, uh, your username, library, application support, make music, finale 27, font annotation. And on the right-hand side are all the .fan files uh, that are the support files for all of these music fonts. So you see maestro.fan here. That's the font annotation file. The Smewful files use a different system called the .jsoN support files, and they actually live in a different location on the Macintosh HD library application support Smewful folder fonts Finale Maestro, this is your list of Smewful fonts that exist on your computer. And you notice that Bravura and Petaluma are here, which are actually Dorico fonts, right? And in this Finale Maestro, you'll see the Finale Maestro.json uh, file here. These live at the system level because these Smewful fonts are now accessible by any music program that can use Smewful, which is why you see Bravura and the Finale files all within the same folder here. Um, this is what allows Dorico to open all of these uh, Finale Smewful files and Finale to open the Dorico Smewful files, right? Uh, so two different systems. The, the JSON files uh, behave a little bit differently in Finale. And uh, essentially what's going on is that the, the characters themselves, the note heads, the dynamics, the accents or whatever, they all exist in different locations uh, within the font. Uh, and what this means is that when you have a file that has Smewful fonts loaded, uh, it does it in a very specific way where it's calling on slot number whatever to pull up the half note head. But in the non-Smewful version, it's a different font slot that's calling up that same note head. So they are sort of not interchangeable uh, for the critical notation functions. And what I mean by that is the critical notation functions is, is basically what's going on in the document options under the font sections here in this notation uh, uh, section here. All of these things in here are basically critical notation functions. And depending on if the file is loaded with Smewful fonts or non-Smewful fonts, these have to be all or nothing. Like you can't have a Smewful font for the note heads and a non-Smewful font for the accidentals or whatever. It just won't work because the JSON data or the font annotation data is loading all of that all at once, right? So for as far as that's concerned, it's either Smewful or non-Smewful all or nothing with these critical uh, notation elements here. Now, how do you know whether the, the file is Smewful or not? Well, this is actually the easiest way. Just go into the document options and check the fonts here. If it says Finale Maestro, then it's a Smewful version or Finale Engraver. The Smewful fonts are now prepended with the word Finale. The non-Smewful versions, uh, if we go to that uh, document options again, just say Maestro or just say Engraver or Jazz or whatever. Uh, so that's a quick way to know. Uh, another way to possibly know is if you're in a Smewful file and you go to the Score Manager, uh, the default file will have this uh, text in the description, Smewful compliant default file. Um, so that's another way. Of course, this can o always be overwritten by the user, so this may or may not actually be there. The more uh, secure way to know this is actually to check the document options for the fonts. And as I mentioned, once you have a file that's Smewful or non-Smewful, you can't go ahead and change these things. So just for to show you what happens, if I were to set the note heads here to not the Smewful version of Maestro, but the non-Smewful version of Maestro, if I can find it, there it is, um, you'll, see, you'll see exactly what happens. <laughs> All of those note head characters now get put as question marks because the, the slot where they exist in the Smewful font is completely different than where they exist in the non-Smewful font, right? So again, it's pretty much all or nothing with those critical notation uh, elements. Now, as I mentioned at the outset, forward compatibility is not broken with Finale 27. You can open any old file in Finale 27, and what you'll get is the non-Smewful version of that file. 
which is totally fine. You can continue to operate in the non smoothful environment just fine. Um, you can even use these smoothful uh, characters in addition to the non smoothful characters that exist here. And it's just a, a matter of, you know, as an expression, for example, you know, you can create your technique text. And if you go to the music font, you'll see that it says Maestro 24 Plane, which is not the smoothful version of Maestro. But you can manually find that just by unchecking this use technique text category and going up and finding the finale maestro font if i can find it there it is and using that shortcut option shift command s to pull up the, the symbol selection dialog box and now you still have access to all of your elements from the smoothful font um, and of course if you choose that you're you're good to go you can add your accordion registration there now, interestingly, if you have Finale 26 and 27 both installed on your computer like I do, um, you can try and call on those uh, smoothful uh, uh, elements in Finale 26. The only difference is that, let's try and do this one more time, create technique text. Uh, we're going to find that Finale font. The only difference is that you're not going to get the categories. And here we go, Finale Maestro. And, um, and of course, you don't have that uh, shortcut either. I almost tried to press it, but let's go to inserts, uh, symbol. And you'll see that you'll get the symbol di dialog box for the smoothful fonts, but you'll notice that there's no categories. Now, this is obviously because Finale 26 doesn't know how to load the JSON data. The JSON data is where all of that uh, metadata for the categories uh, exists. So um, as you can notice in Finale 26, you won't get those categories and you'll get a whole mess of just one long list of, of symbols. So. If you have the Smoothful fonts on your computer, you can use them in 26. They're just a little bit uh, more difficult to, to use. So what about backwards compatibility? This is where it gets a little interesting. So let's go back to uh, Finale 26 here. So again, if you're using a non-Smoothful font in version Finale 27, um, that's completely openable in Finale 26 and even 25 and previous versions of Finale. Where the issue exists is trying to open a smoothful file in version 26. And that's exactly what I've done here. Incidentally, this is a non smoothful file that I created in Finale 27 and then opened it in Finale 26. And everything is perfectly normal, right? Uh, the issue is when you try and open a smoothful file in version 26, of course, version 26 does not support those JSON files and the new way of dealing with smoothful fonts. So you're going to get some funky stuff. Some things will kind of work, like you'll see the note heads seem to be right, but Obviously, all the positions of everything is completely out of whack. Um, the time signature is out of whack. Even the uh, the whole rests here are, are off, right? So this is a problem. You can't really open a smoothful file uh, within 26. Now, you can e also, you can't even do anything like, uh, you know, you can't change the, uh, the smoothful fonts to non-smoothful. So if I were going here and try and change the note heads here from Finale Maestro to uh, the original Maestro, right? You'll see that this absolutely doesn't work, and now you don't even get <laughs> proper note heads. So this is a completely, completely disaster doing this, right? And I should point out that I wanted to show you this as well. When you do try to open a Smoothful file in 26 or previous, you're going to get this warning saying that there's a missing font annotation file. Obviously, the Smoothful fonts don't have annotation files. They have .json files instead. And so when you try and open a uh, file like this, uh, it will give you this warning and it will ask you what you want to do. And if you auto generate a uh, missing font annotation file, um, this is what you'll get. You'll get something like this. So some things will convert and most other things will definitely not convert. So this is really sort of the, the main issue here currently is that uh, backwards compatibility is a little bit tricky if you're using Smoothful fonts. Again, if you're just using non-Smoothful files, it's totally fine going back and forth uh, between 26 and 27. 
There are also some interesting sideways compatibility issues, if I can call it that. Um, basically going back and forth between non-SMUFL and SMUFL files within Finale 27. In fact, it's kind of difficult to copy and paste between non-SMUFL files and SMUFL files, which I'll illustrate here. So here's my non-SMUFL file. I'm just going to take uh, these three bars here, copy it, and then go over to my SMUFL version. I'm just going to copy it over here and uh, show you what happens. Um, the notes will translate, right? But uh, what does not translate are all the elements. You can see the articulations are all kind of screwed up. The the um, the dynamics are screwed up. The reason for this is because you know it's looking for the default music font, and the forte marking is in a different slot between the SMUFL and the non-SMUFL file. So uh, this is this is what's going on. We can correct this uh, if we do something like you know go in here and edit this to. Uh, to choose the correct dynamic, of course, we'd have to find it and everything and, and all that stuff. Or, of course, we could always do the old, you know, delete and replace, uh, replace with the original forte marking here and just uh, go about our business like that. And that should fix the forte marking uh, at least. And then you have to do that for all of the other elements. So there is a bit of a sideways compatibility issue going back and forth between SMUFL and non-SMUFL files. And actually, let's, let's do this. Let's undo a little bit here and do the same thing, copying and pasting from a SMUFL file into a non-SMUFL file. Paste into the non-SMUFL file. And you'll see that this is actually even worse. Now it's not even recognizing where those slots were for the uh, Forte marking. It's not even giving you an F, so you don't even really know what it is. So again, copying and pasting is a bit of an issue between SMUFL and non-SMUFL. I'm calling this sideway compatibility issues. Now again, as I mentioned, I, I believe that Finale will eventually create some sort of way to convert a non-SMUFL file directly to a SMUFL file. The problem is if you use the set default music font right now and just choose um, the, the other Finale Maestro uh, version here, the SMUFL version, let's try this just to show you what happens. Um, it'll give you the set default music font error. And you'll see that it even says Finale does not currently support changing the default music font from non-SMUFL to SMUFL fonts, right? So please choose a non-SMUFL font to convert to. Um, so it's not even allowing you to do that. So again, I believe that's going to be changed in the near future in one of the in one of the upcoming point upgrades, I would assume, maybe 27.1 or 0.2 or something. Um, but as of now, this is not possible in 27.0. Now there is sort of one interesting cure-all for all of these backwards compatibilities and sideways compatibility issues in Finale 27 uh, related to SMUFL and non-SMUFL fonts. And that, believe it or not, is XML. Effectively, you can use XML to convert from non-SMUFL to SMUFL. In fact, that's what I did. I created a uh, an XML file in version 26, right? of a non-SMUFL file, obviously, because I created it in 26. And then what I can do in 27 is I can import an XML file like this. And if I find it, I'm looking for v26 non-SMUFL output uh, XML file here and open this in version 27. And after a second or two of loading, uh, you'll notice that this uh, file now got converted to 27. And if we take a look at the document options once again at the font, you'll notice that it says Finale Maestro 24 Plane. So effectively what I've done is I've converted the non-SMUFL file created in 26.3 into a SMUFL file in 27, right? So this is using XML. It's a little bit funky because you get some weird things going on with the text blocks, but it is sort of a, a you know possible workaround for getting non-SMUFL into SMUFL format. I'm just going to undo that. Uh, don't save. The other thing that you can do as far as backwards compatibility is output an XML file from 27 and import it in 26. So if I have a SMUFL file that I need to open in 26, what I could do is export a, a XML file. And uh, with this, you do have to be careful of one thing. I'm just going to show you in the Music XML Preferences. Um, what you have is, uh, by default, Music XML 4.0 will be checked here in Finale 27 because 4.0 is introduced in 27. But in 26, uh, we don't have 4.0, so you'd have to just go back a step to 3.1 uh, if you're in doing this in 27 uh, when you do your export of XML. 
and I've already done this uh, already. It takes a minute to do this, so I'm just going to go back to Finale 26 here, and we're going to import a XML file uh, from version 27, from a SMUFL file from version 27. So this XML file is a SMUFL file from 27, and I'm going to open it in version 26, and it will take a second to load. And it loaded on my other screen, but here you go. So this is the SMUFL file originally created in 27, opened in version 26. And now you can see that all of those issues we had before trying to directly open a SMUFL file in 26 uh, doesn't exist anymore. So this looks a lot better. So it's weird, you know, XML is supposed to be used for, you know, going between different programs, but you can use XML uh, for compatibility issues uh, between SMUFL and non-SMUFL files within uh, Finale. So that's a, a, an interesting little workaround that I, that I found for this. Now again, eventually this should be supported a little bit better, uh, particularly going from non-SMUFL to SMUFL. I, I assume that's probably their priority is, is to be able to convert from non-SMUFL to SMUFL. I'm not sure if they're going to have a conversion kit for SMUFL to non-SMUFL, but maybe they will. I, I have no idea. But currently, as it stands in version 27.0, this is how it goes. When they make those updates, I will probably create a, an updated video to, to uh, clarify those changes and show you uh, how exactly that works. All right, so that's it for now. That's the Great Smeeful Divide. Again, it's a little bit technical, and I hope this is going to be useful to some people, particularly if you collaborate with other people using different versions of Finale. This, sh this should be important information to understand, and hopefully this has been helpful. All right, so thanks again. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to do some more Smeeful uh, Finale 27 related videos coming up, and they're going to be released sort of one at a time, maybe two at a time. So uh, definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel so you'll be alerted as to when those uh, f videos are released. Yeah, so there you go. Um, once again, my name is Jason. This is Finale 27, the Smeeful Shuffle, the Great Smeeful Divide. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon on the next video.